I guess, uh, hard to believe Thursday, it starts kind of for real. How, how y'all feeling about that? Yeah, it uh, came fast, but uh, kind of knew that that was going to happen. You know, uh, having kind of had an, a short off season the, 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 the previous year as well. So uh, this year was was very similar. So uh, um, needed to make sure we're healthy first and foremost. I uh, have been able to do it for the most part. There's always some some guys that uh, pick something up, unfortunately. But uh, so far, nothing serious, which is good. Um, and uh, try to get our fitness up. Um, it's difficult, obviously. Um, you, you're going from preseason straight into an important match and a knockout knockout game. So. Uh, um, we're excited for it to start, though, because uh, obviously, as much as we like to train and and sprint and be in the gym all day, um, I think we prefer <laughs> playing soccer. Well, what, what kind of extra challenges does this, does this bring? You know, traveling this far away to, to play a, a a game that that's somewhat important in the Champions League. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the Concacaf Champions League is its own beast. Uh, even for guys who've come from Europe and have played in the in the, the European Champions League, this is. This is completely different. This is uh, uh, you're going to to places that uh, at times uh, the infrastructure isn't quite there. Um, the food is uh, you have to be careful with what you eat. Um, uh, uh, historically speaking, the referees have been a bit on the on the other end in terms of who they favor. I feel like, but those are all things that you kind of have to deal with. Uh, you learn that that's part of it. Um, it's also a different, different playing style, you know, in terms of I think maybe they like to possess balls, uh, the ball more. Uh, I think the MLS might be con compared to El Salvador a bit more of a physical league. Um, so, so it's finding that balance, you know, you uh, you, you can't go into tackles too hard um, because you, you don't want to draw silly free kicks and cards. But at the same time, you don't want to change your game too much either. So uh, it's, it's finding that little balance in between. Going down there, I know getting a result down there is big, but does it help knowing that you have the the second leg here in Seattle. Uh, yeah, um, it's it, it, it's it's a home and away, and we, we have to set ourselves up to to be in a decent position to to finish a job at home. Um, so whether that means um, you know a boring zero zero down there or a, a one one, it's fine. You know, it, it, again, this is a home and away. We don't need to go down there uh, guns blazing and, and thinking we need to score four or five goals. And leave ourselves vulnerable because uh, they're a quality side. So, uh, uh, patient, uh, believe in our squad and our ability, and and to realize that there's a second leg at home. A lot of guys have talked over the years about this being a locker room that doesn't get too high or too low. But I imagine there's got to be a little bit of an extra edge this preseason coming off and in the last couple offs. Yeah. Um, some people might look at it that way. Um, I, I've always been someone that tries to find positives. Uh, I look at it as in we've gone back to back to the to the final. That's that's no small feat. Some people might say, well, you lost. It's a bummer, but uh, we won the Western Conference uh, very comfortably, I'd say. We, we played very, very well. And then um, we, we didn't show up for the final, which was very, very disappointing. But uh, again, retrospectively, no small feat. Um, and during that season, I think, you know, we had that long unbeaten streak. Um, we're able to get uh, quite a few shutouts. So, so again, I, I think you want to look for motivation, but at the same time, um, you want to look for positives as well. So uh, I think it was a, a good year for us. Um, ended in heartbreak, but um, I want to go back to the final again. Um, so uh, if we can go back to the final again and make it the, the three-peat to, to go to the final and give ourselves a yet another chance, uh, we know one game, one game anything can happen. Um, preferably maybe set ourselves up to, to be better seeding. Uh, I think that's something we're realizing is, is, is uh, as we are, um, I think having those lofty goals but seeming to, to be able to get pretty far in playoffs consistently now, um, that seems to be another goal that we need to address uh, or really focus on. So uh, that's the goal. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy with uh, the way I think we've we've digested um, last year's um, successes and failures. Um, and, and, and I hope we can draw strength from, for, for, from all that. But there's a difference between being fit and being game fit. Absolutely. Uh, what, where are you at in, in that instance now when you look back at the preseason games that you've been through? Uh, compared to preseasons, I think we're, uh, as a goalkeeper, I feel very similar. Um, you know, we've, we've gone for the most part um, through the same kind of uh, ramping up uh, trainings and focusing on different aspects and getting getting ourselves going. I think for us, we're, we're a little different. You know, obviously we have a, a new strength and conditioning coach who likes to run things a bit differently. 
but I think uh, that, that that focus for him is more on the field players. So uh, we know what we need. Um, with that being said, uh, you, you, you never find yourself um, at, at the peak at the end of preseason. Uh, you kind of wouldn't want to. So that's what I'm saying. That's why these games are difficult because um, uh, even if you had a perfect preseason, you're not going to be firing on all cylinders yet, quite yet. So. Uh, we have to make sh make sure we're sharp. As goalkeepers, uh, I would argue there's probably more mistakes that will happen in the beginning, so we have to be extra sharp. How about communication between you and that back line? There might be some other pieces here, maybe a couple of young players uh, on both right back and left back. Yeah, I mean, Francis uh, seems to be one that has slotted in at times. So uh, there's there's new guys who we need we need to get used to. They need to get used to the way we want to play. Um, all that that stuff takes a bit of time, but. Uh, Nothing, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. That's just um, how it is every year, I feel like.